Kia ora and welcome to Living Life as Easy As with Happiness. Well, it is pouring here in the Naki. It's uh, Tararaki Anniversary Day, so I hope you guys have managed to have a heap of fun somewhere in the Naki today. Um, but yes, it is. It's pouring rain and what a, what a fantastic day to, um, you know, tinker in one of your hobbies. And having a hobby, I think, is a really good um, a good way of increasing your happiness. And a hobby of mine is to have some have beautiful, lush, healthy plants all around the house. But I love to look for different ways of displaying them. And I've got this really awesome um, little tip that makes is it as easy as, of course, it is as easy as. That I just want to share with you today for your house plant. So yeah, I'm always looking for. You know me, I'm, I'm not one to be run of the mill. I like to look for quirky ways to do it and doing things. So I've got this beautiful um, string of hearts. I absolutely love it. Like it's just going absolutely burko. And I just know that when this has finished growing, or not finished growing, but you know, when it gets really lush and full, it's gonna look absolutely incredible displayed in this hanging basket that I have hanging up here in my conservatory. Absolutely gorgeous. Now this was given to me has a cutting um and look at this they've got beautiful flowers isn't that so cool the string or oh, the string of hearts absolutely beautiful so that's just one way that i've displayed something but ah, i've got this absolutely gorgeous vase here that i picked up from hospice and oh my god it is stunning i love it love it love it love it and i just was also given this plant here as a cutting and look at it it's just gone absolutely burko it's going ballistic isn't that so cool just from a little tiny cutting thank you from judah and annette who gave me this cutting um but it really has outgrown the pot and i want to transfer it into this here but the problem we have is this tiny little hole a lot of space in there too much space to fill up with do with uh, potty mix um, so here's the tip and trick that I'm going to share with you today. Absolutely love it. All you need is a pair of stockings, preferably holy ones because we're recycling them, and some scissors and some potting mix. So, so simple. So courtesy of a daughter that goes to school, I still have plenty of holy stockings. So it's great. So what we do is just cut off a length of bit that we're going to be popping this inside the vase and filling this up with the potting mix. So if I fill this vase up here all with potting mix, like there's no drainage whatsoever, and the plant would surely rot. Um, like the roots would get rotten because there's just no drainage for the water. Otherwise, the alternative would be that I'm watering it two tables, tablespoons like every second day. So, no, we don't want to be doing that. <clears throat> so just grab your little stockings and cut it off for about the right length that you need. If you needed to, we can tie knots to have little bits of stockings. So poke that in the hole of the vase. So cool. Just tip it over like that. Pop all your potting mix into it. I've got a heap of potting mix here that I can use. And if I just pop all the potting mix in through the hole, I probably should bring it up here so you can see what I'm actually doing. Um, I probably should have gloves on, I because of the Legionnaire's disease and stuff like that, but I'll wash them really well, I promise. And you fill up your little stocking so that there's actually quite a bit in there, enough to get um, a good root system going in there as well. So how's it going as easy as is? I hope that you are living an as easy as life um, or starting to or making changes to and that um, generally life is fairly happy for you. I've shared so many tips and tricks over the last couple of years that surely there's something there that um, you know you can lock on to to make your life easier, happier, more joyful, something, something, anything. Yay! So here you go. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? It's going to look absolutely amazing in this beautiful aqua vase. So stunning. Absolutely couldn't believe my luck when I saw this little gem at the um, 
at the hospice shop. Oh, lucky I'm in my conservatory. I can just pop all the um, excess on the floor because it's just concrete floor. Yay, we're just half inside out, half out. I love this little room. It's my little pottering room, my little craft room. A little relax with a cup of tea or a glass of wine room. It's just beautiful. It has lovely fairy lights flittering around in the evening. And it's just a beautiful little room. I hope you guys have all got a room that you can uh, call your own. So that's quite a bit of pot, pot, potting mix in there now. So then all it would mean would be to transfer, get this little baby out. I probably should thought I was organised and having a spoon with me here, but I haven't. But I'll just use the scissors to possibly dig it all out with. And get that root system out. Oh, gosh, she's beautiful. Look at that. Woo. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Actually, there's two here, two root systems. So what I might do is just plant one in this one and plant the other one in another one. It definitely had to come out of that pot because it was way too small for it to want to grow any further. So let me just pull the stocking up so I can get it right deep down in there. Get it nicely in. A bit more. So now when I pour the water in there, it's actually not gonna rot the system and I haven't got this whole thing filled with potting mix but I have got enough for the plant to do really well so isn't that just the best little trick ever yay well so she's packed quite tightly there now that is awesome I'm just going to put a few little beautiful pebbles around the top and then we can water that little darling and she will be ready to just look absolutely glorious so let's just have a look at that. So isn't that wonderful? That's going to stop the roots from rotting. And then that other one, I am going to transplant somewhere else. Because they oh my gosh, you know, great gift. Great gift ideas that I could actually use as a gift. And then this is enough. So where I'm going to display it, and then it can just hang down beautifully on this absolutely gorgeous vase. So isn't that beautiful? Just stunning. So it would be very hard if I just filled that all with potting mix. For one, for it to survive because its roots would rot. And two, um, it would be extremely heavy and take a lot of potting mix. So there we go, that is that one done. Oh, beautiful. Get that hang down there in all its glory absolutely gorgeous and then this one i'm going to do the same thing to because this is actually a vase i picked this up from the warehouse but i just love it as a plant holder but this pot here fits in there sitting up there nicely at the top but it's getting too small. The little pot itself is getting too small for this beautiful plant. And so if I want it to grow a lot more larger and lusher, I am gonna have to do the same thing to it. So let's grab some more stockings. Put a hole in it. I'm gonna use a quite wide part of the stocking up the top. So I'm just gonna put a hole in that one side leg. Cut that off. Use that piece for the other piece of that um, beautiful cutting that I want to grow. And then I'll just put a hole in the bottom of this as well. So there we go, I've got a nice wide top. And we're gonna be shoving all the dirt down the side of that one. Yay! So there we go, just pop it over. You can fill it up. Fill it up with dirt or potting mix, or whatever you like. I'm going to pop it in here. Woohoo! Yay! So if I just put, again, if I just put all the dirt in here, there's no drainage in here, and it would surely rot the system. So what this does is that the stockings doesn't cover the whole in surface of the thing, of the pot, so it allows for drainage. So that's 
what's really important for the plant. Okay, so fill that all in there. Grab this beautiful plant out of here. You know, pop it into there. Ah, oh, look at that. How gorgeous. How gorgeous is that? And then that there. Done! How soft, as easy as, right? So that now is going to allow for drainage and growth because there's a lot more potting mix in there so the roots can get a lot better established. But like I said, there is no drainage. So, so happy with that idea. Who knew to put old stockings inside your pot plants? They will grow a lot more healthier and a lot more lush and a lot more larger. Um, given this new opportunity with the stocking. So here's my little as easy as tip for you guys today. All right, well, I'm off to water these gorgeous little beauties and put the pot them into a nice little spot inside my home. So I will let you guys go, enjoy, and have a fantastic week. Find something as easy as to do and make sure that you inject a little happiness somewhere. Much, much aroha to each and every one of you.